Hey Sag, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ana Eileen and we're going to tap into some love messages for you guys today. Please do me a favor and hit the like button guys and also there's an all signs reading up for everyone uh, to get some insight into Pluto moving into Aquarius. All right, so some really good messages there. I appreciate you guys checking it out. Imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind and your second card is discipline. I can accomplish what i set my mind to i'm seeing a lot of purple there's a lot of information maybe being funneled through your crown you're receiving a lot of downloads some of you could also have like a telepathic page of swords four of swords communication with uh you know somebody that you're you're tapped in with mm -hmm. page of swords and the three of pentacles you guys are able to deliver messages to each other telepathically and what that could also mean just in a simpler sense is like you're thinking about this person you get a text or you think about this person then the song that you guys you know claim as your song comes on the radio okay i'm hearing that song I'm, you're the one that i want <laughs> All right, with Sagi's energy spirit, the King of Cups, you have a lot of feelings for this person. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I'm hearing they hold a special place in your heart, the Tower. Okay, some of you are are knowing that this person's going through something. Okay, Ace of Cups, Seven of Cups, wondering what they're going through. Uh, could be a Scorpio, Aries, or a Cancerian that you guys are dealing with. Seven of Cups and Judgment. Okay, you realize this person has their own karma. They have their own judgments to go through. Okay something about that there okay that's the tower there the five of swords the hierophant the seven of pentacles this person could be married could have been married when you guys were dealing with one another whatever it is it's like this person's facing a reckoning a reckon reckoning and it's like you know that uh let's tap into their energy yeah they show up as the nine of swords very clear nine of wands and the three of pentacles so even though they're with somebody it does feel very Hard. Like this nine of wands, the way I have the cards laid out, it's like they're looking back at you though. Eight of pentacles and the strength card, but it's like, I don't know if they're having to bear through whatever they are in. Maybe it is just some type of discipline, y'all, for them. I feel about Sag. The star, the four of wands. Yeah, you the one and the lovers. Could be an Aquarius, could be a Gemini. You are the one. Some of you got kids with this person. Some of this person wants kids with you. Page of Cups. They have a lot of like those giddy feelings for you. A lot of feelings for you. Queen of Pentacles. They see you as very independent. Look, the Temperance card, Page of Wands. That's part of the reason why they don't reach out. They like, they don't even need me. They probably not even thinking about me, but I do think you are thinking about them. Yeah. Page of Wands, the Three of Cups, the Ace of Cups here. Some of you, they wish like they could at least be friends with you, I'm, I'm hearing. Okay. Uh, what's this card? I'm hearing, I just want to love you. Some of you, it's like this person is realizing that now. Maybe you said that to them before. Yeah, Five of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, and the Hangman. But you did, you had to fall back. Okay, because the disappointment was recurring and it was just too much with this person. So you had to focus on your own stability, the hangman, the nine of pentacles. You had to do some uh, reflection as well, some introspection with the hangman. Why is it out here? Don't fall now. Nine of pentacles, knight of cups in reverse, the moon, and the six of cups here here yeah this person would that's why you had to work on your nine of pentacles upright because when this person would revoke okay eight of wands go back to the past with the six of cups it would kind of like throw you off right because you had a lot of feelings for this person um in spirit your guides hated to see you that way okay yeah the king of pentacles here ace of swords and justice so you had to become more stable in yourself so you understand see how like you know these connections they really they serve us okay all the types of connections serve us in some way shape or form ace of swords and temperance right it was also starting to cloud your judgment cloud your thoughts it was being too you know uh it was on your mind too much imagination it was taking up way too much mental space this connection and worrying about it okay the seven of pentacles right somebody was very indecisive and again always making you feel like an option knight of wands it was a lot of passion there but i'm just hearing like what's passion without 
commitment or something or like working together two of wands two of pentacles king of wands this is somebody who is making plans in two different places so with you and in other places okay six of pentacles in reverse oh yeah they're going through it nine of cups page of pentacles and the page of cups in reverse with the empress here things are not going their way things are not going their way um they could be rooming with uh if it's a male like they could be rooming with the roommates with a feminine energy but it's not it's like friends maybe friends with benefits okay the higher font here the death card death card and temperance yeah judgment and temperance this person feels like you've already called judgment on them yeah like you've already made a decision uh about them why haven't they seven of wands in reverse the high priestess okay empress and the four of swords life is kind of like whooping them a little bit all they can do is kind of think about you okay um yeah the moon in reverse i feel like this person's angry too moon in reverse king of swords okay they're angry and i'm seeing like arms flailing like somebody drowning so they're having they are making very impulsive decisions right now knight of swords this person's in an angry energy okay and i don't think it has anything to do with you in fact i feel like your guides have you away from it why is this person angry to a swords? They have a lot of decisions to make or they've made decisions. Yes, yeah, seven of cups that have led them nowhere. Okay. They thought it was going to take them somewhere and it has not. Why? The sun in reverse. Something's not truthful. Something's not honest. Ace of pentacles. Their pentacle, whatever they're looking for, is behind them being more genuine, being more truthful, coming from their heart, speaking the truth. Okay. Um, also, if you have a kid, okay, they, they need to be more involved. Okay. It's a pentacles on the strength card here. So <clears throat> what do you want from this person right now, Sag? Okay. Queen of Wands in reverse, the Ace of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands. I don't think Spirit is going... I, I just felt that intuitively. This feels like if this person reaches out, it gives you some type of validation. Queen of Wands in reverse. Like, it would turn your Queen of Wands upright, right? To know that this person is still holding on to you. That could be the very reason Spirit is not ushering that in. Because if it's your sole source of validation, your guys don't want that for you. They want you to validate yourself first. And this would just be like extra. Take it or leave it. You know what I'm saying? Which some of you I do feel like are, you know, past that point. And just kind of, you know, go back a little bit. What do they want from you? What does this person want? The hermit in reverse. Okay. They want you to get out of all that spiritual energy, Sag. Five of Wands, Eight of Swords. What happened to you chasing them? What happened to you, you know what I'm saying, blowing their phone up? Eight of Swords, the high priestess here. Now they don't know anything about you. And they can't get to you anymore. Literally and, you know figuratively yep judgment in reverse they want to see you get out of character where you at sag three of wands and the lovers that was this person's way of, of feeling like oh my god this sag really loves me like they will fight for me they're calling me they're inquiring about my whereabouts now that they're not getting it they are also having to validate themselves but it feels like this person is still trying to validate themselves through other means okay <clears throat> what's the guidance The Ace of Swords, the Magician, the Five of Pentacles. Spirit separated you so you could get clear because what you were doing with this person or whatever, you could have been manifesting from a clouded mind, okay? Thinking you want something with somebody, right? So Spirit, I think Spirit wants you to know like that is a part of the reason why they had to separate you from this person so that you could regain clarity in your mind. Yeah, Eight of Cups in Reverse. Three of Cups in Justice card for guidance yep and the high priestess here page of swords and the lovers some of you might hear from this person the difference is you're in a different mindset and for whatever reason that makes all the difference yep two of cups knight of pentacles 
and the five of wands. Ah, spirit. Yes, some of you will hear from this person, but it's going to be in the right energy. You're not going to reach out. It's going to be this person reaching out to you. Yep. Four of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. When you least expect it, when you're not worried about it, then the universe will say, oh, okay, they don't need the validation. Go ahead, send them in. Let's <laughs> see if they still want them anyway. You know, some of you, once you start validating yourself, the validation that this person, that you thought you were getting from this person is going to, you know, could feel very empty, could feel very low. Like, oh God, this does not fill up my meter. <laughs> you know, I'd rather fill up myself. Spirit with Sagittarius last card. Thank you. Two cards. Oh, you have the full moon in Capricorn. It says take a reality check. Okay, which some of you did. So some of you like this person could have left in the summer. We have the full moon in Capricorn in cancer season. This will come to a combination around this full moon in Leo. Okay, it says go wild. We have the full moon in Leo in about seven days. We have it on the 25th. Okay, so, it, you know, could definitely feel like uh, communication could come in around that time. All right, where you get some truths. All right, so that is what, I, or not, right? Because the sun was in reverse on this person's side. They could come back around and you could see that they are still afraid to be them authentic, their authentic self. All right, that's what I have for you, Sag. I appreciate you. I love you. Please hit the like button. I will catch you in the next one. Bye.